Welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast, where you will find all the inspiration you need to begin living a more intentional life today. Because no matter where you are right now in life, it's never too late to dream big, my friend. And now here's your host, Francis Vitakovic. Hey, before we jump into today's episode, did you know that I've created just for you a massive collection of freebies that includes my Do Something book. It's a no BS guide for anyone who wants to stop wasting their time today. There's also the Fabulous Day Cheat Sheet, the 25 Ways to Make Your Life Instantly Better Guide. I've also included a 12-month habit tracker template, the Abundant Mindset Guide. There's also the fantastic Your Future Self Workbook. It's a workbook designed to bring your future self to life. And finally, the Vent and Move On Workbook. It's a workbook I designed to help you resolve any issue. Right now, all these freebies are sitting inside my secret library, which you can sign up and access for your dreambigmyfriend.com forward slash freebies. That's forward slash freebies. There is honestly so much goodness there. Now it's time to dive into today's episode. Welcome to this episode, my friend. Today we're going to be having a conversation about finding inner peace. And I'm going to be sharing with you six tips to help you find inner calm when your life feels really chaotic. So is finding inner peace a struggle for you? I know it used to be for me. So I'm going to be sharing with you six foolproof tips all that have helped me to become more peaceful and calmer, especially when life felt really chaotic and crazy. I've got to be honest with you, life can sometimes be really hectic, especially if we don't know how to stop and take a few moments for ourselves. This is something that we need to consciously set aside the time to do because the truth is that with the inventions of computers, our work lives are supposed to be easier. Life is supposed to be easier with this technology, but in reality, it's gotten so much busier than before. Have you guys noticed that? Like we should be taking our time to relax and spend more time with our family and friends. And for whatever reason, we're all working more, doing more, etc. Because that original mentality was that computers would allow us to get the same amount of work done in half the time. But for whatever reason, we all feel like doing twice as much work. We just don't stop. Today, I'm going to be encouraging you to slow down. Now, a lot of us want to do more and have more in our lives. That's fair. But the downfall is is that our world has become so fast-paced that it's often hard to keep up. And especially when you say that you want more and you want to do more, for what reason? Like, what's the ultimate benefit? I think a lot of us are happy to acknowledge the fact that we do want to have a more peaceful life, even if it is busy. But you don't always have to speed yourself up to match the pace of the world. I think many of us forget that we get to set our own pace. There are people right now that live in little country towns and they take their days really casual and quiet and relaxed. And at the same time, you have people in bustling cities and they're moving at a fast forward pace. But you get to decide no matter where you are in this world, you get to decide the pace that you want to move in. And you get to decide if you need to stop and just take a break. Take a breather before your life descends into this chaotic jumble because it doesn't have to be that way. Technically, it's a choice. If you want to slow down, you have this opportunity. And luckily, there are some great ways to deal with those overwhelming feelings when you're feeling like life is too too chaotic and that you just want to slow down. I'm going to try to help you put some order back to your life. So here are some tips on how to turn your chaos around. Now, number one, the first tip to finding inner peace is taking a break. Now, this might require that you give yourself permission to have a break. So once in a while, give yourself a chance to take in everything that's going on around you and let it go. Even if your break is just a small sitting down on the couch to read a newspaper or magazine for five minutes, take that opportunity. Sit down and just relax. If you have a longer amount of time and you can take a nice hot bath instead of a shower, definitely help you slow your mind and just relax. So find a little time here and there to get some peace and quiet while you reflect on the events of your day. Your body needs and appreciates that time and peace and quiet to yourself. And your mind does too. Now, here's something just to keep in mind. If you're like me, if you're a doer, there's something sometimes in us that finds it really hard to sit down. We we always need to be doing something. And I only picked up on this when we'd go away camping and there was nothing for me to do. There was no chores for me to do. All All I could do was literally lie in a hammock and read and play board games and lie on a beach. And do you know how good it is to give yourself permission to relax and rest? Because it took me a while to understand that as soon as I came back, I was back to my doing, you know, like feeling really bad for sitting on that couch when there was stuff needed to be done. You need to put yourself on the top of your list and self-care is so important. If your mind and body need a break, sit down and have a break. Force yourself to sit down 
and just relax. You do it. I used to resent my husband for the fact that he was sitting down relaxing after a long day's work when I would come home from work and I'd still be doing more stuff. But it was crazy. Do you know why? It was crazy because I was doing it to myself. You need to give yourself permission to have a break. And that's all you have to do to do that is just say, I deserve a break. Every single day, I'm going to take some time to myself. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to enjoy that herbal tea. I'm going to read that book. I'm going to have a bath. I just am not going to expect that everything has to be perfect because we all know that there's no such thing as perfect. And thankfully, I've gotten better at this over the last few years. I do always actually need the reminder though. I need to remind myself, sit down. Nothing's going to happen if you sit down and have a moment of peace, okay? It's so important in terms of like maintaining a calm personality is not expecting that everything has to be done straight away. Some things can wait till tomorrow. Some things can wait till, well, they can wait forever. Not everything needs to be done. You need to take care of yourself too. Which brings me to tip number two, meditating. So many people hear the word meditation and think it's too woo-woo for them. And I'm going to put my hand up because I'm the same. Even though I'm recommending it as a tip, I'm going to share with you what I do instead. So meditation, lots of people think it's like you're sitting cross-legged with your hands out, like maybe humming or whatever they do, but it doesn't have to be like that. So I call my practice, even though it's like a meditation practice, it's just about being mindful. And sometimes I just sit down as well in a really comfortable place and I just calm my mind down and I bring my mind back to the serenity that I desire. So even though it's technically not meditating, it's still being mindful, which is sort of the same thing because when you are meditating or when you're being mindful, it's about focusing on the present moment. And even if this craziness is going around you, Don't worry so much about things in the past or look forward in the future. Meditation is just about being focused on this very moment. And the best way to do that is to come back to your breath. So you like focus on yourself breathing. Like if I do it now, like I take a deep breath and I let it out. Do you know how good that feels? Just breathe in and breathe out. People underestimate how important just taking a deep breath is. So do it often. Do it as often as you can. Center yourself. Come back to your breath. If you want to explore proper meditation techniques, go ahead and do so. There's so much out there on Google. So just go out there and do some research. Now for my third tip on finding inner peace and just recentering yourself. It's actually looking for the positive in everything that's going on around you. So no matter how chaotic things get, I want you to try to find something good and positive in every single situation. Actively search and look for the silver lining. So I'm just going to try to think of an example of when life used to be more chaotic when my kids were still young. So just say when they were toddlers and they were like, they whinged and cried or whatever it was that used to make me feel like life was chaotic. The positive in that situation is that I was so blessed to be a mom. I was so blessed to have my two kids under my roof. I was so blessed just to have that bookshelf. I love, love kids' books. I just would look at those books and say, thank gosh that I have those books there that I can cuddle my kids, take them to bed, read a few books, calm them down. So just look for the silver lining. What are you blessed to have? Even when the life feels so crazy, one of my favorite things that I like to remind myself is, remember when this is what you wish for. So if you look at your house now, remember when this was something that you were so excited, you were so excited to buy that house Even if there's like mess now around, remember that time when you walked in and you got the keys to that new house and you're like, I am so lucky. Remind yourself of that day. Remind yourself of the day that you were in hospital with your kids and there were little newborn babies and you just felt so lucky. I find that that helps me just remind, reminding myself of how lucky I am to be blessed in so many different ways. And even when life is chaotic, doesn't mean I'm not blessed. Now, my fourth tip is slowing down. So this is a little bit different from my first tip, which was to take a break. But we all have a tendency to multitask almost constantly nowadays. And doing so does tend to wear us down. It really does. I mean, I'm a recovering multitasker as well. Multitasking not only adds to the chaos around us, it's sort of fast track burnout and overwhelm. I've been burnout and I've been overwhelmed. And guess where it came from? From definitely doing way too much at the same time. So I suggest instead to take things one at a time and allow yourself to focus on that task alone. I now love, love batching. If you have ever heard me speak about productivity, that is like my secret to being a super productive person. Now, while you think that you can probably handle three or more things at once, I know I probably could. I've done it in the past. Truth is we're not getting a medal for being superwoman. And the reality also is that the quality of our work sometimes suffers as a result of trying to do too much at once. So just slow down. 
it's such a simple, easy way of just finding a little bit more inner peace and not sort of bringing that chaos onto yourself. So my next tip number five is don't let other people drag you down. So obviously this is a thought, you know, guys know that I'm big on thought work. And obviously if you're thinking someone else is dragging me down, that's a thought you're having. But just be wary when you consider the opinions of others, like super wary. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to ignore what everyone else is saying or whatever, but please don't let yourself get bogged down with other people's baggage and their issues. Don't let it take up too much space in your brain because a lot of the times when we're feeling or lacking that inner peace, it's because our brains are filled with like things that we shouldn't even be worrying about. Like what you can do to reduce the brain chatter, okay? That brain chatter when you're devoting your energy to things that aren't really that important or what other people are saying and thinking, let it go. Really, don't let other people suck up too much of their energy. And that brings me to tip number six, which is obviously take away the drama. Now, guess what? You get to eliminate the drama in your life simply by making the decision to do so. Remember the quote, not my monkey, not my circus. If it's not your concern, just stay out of it. You don't need to get caught up in other people's drama. When I talk about like finding calm in chaos, you can have your own chaos, but don't bring other people's chaos into your house if you can avoid it. Focus instead on solving your own problems positively and obviously in a proactive way, rather than enjoying a pity party where you sort of like look for other people to commiserate with you or to complain with you. This is going to help reduce so much drama in your life and turn your focus into something more positive. Now here's another truth. Every single human in this world has some chaos in their life. I've always said it, 50% positive, 50% negative. That's what life's made up of. But you can find calm and you can find inner peace in the middle of that chaos. Now, before I end this episode, I do want to point out that stress can actually be a productive thing. So when I'm talking about like reducing all the chaos, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to have any stress in your life. If it encourages you to take action, it's actually a good thing. And in fact, without responsibility, some people would never get out of it. So obviously you're going to be doing things and taking action in your life, but you're just going to be reducing the stress, the unnecessary stress, the unnecessary drama, the unnecessary chaos. You're going to come back to centering yourself and focusing what works best for you and your family. And once you accept this fact that, you know, life is going to have some stresses and problems all the time, you guys know that I believe that obstacles and hurdles are just a normal thing in life, that you've got to decide how you're going to approach and react to those hurdles. Your reaction can and will dictate the level of chaos in your life. And the first step to realizing this is that you need to, number one, make more time for yourself. So make sure that you don't burn out because you're putting yourself at the bottom of your list. Take yourself up to number one. Like you you need to take care of yourself first because if you don't, nothing you do will really make that much of a difference because if you can't take care of yourself, it's honestly hard to take care of other people. You can't be there for everyone else if you aren't taking care of yourself and if you can't be there for yourself. So just consider using some of these tips every single day just to bring a little bit more order into your life to like embrace that inner peace that is living inside yourself. So the inner peace is actually always within you, but you just can't drown out in the chaos instead. So just remove the chaos and that is when you will find the inner peace that has always been there. You can actually just decide to live a more peaceful life starting today by removing the chaos. Consciously choose not to invite it into your life unnecessarily and start to fall in love with that peaceful feeling that you find, you can find and always will have inside yourself. So I hope this has been useful for you. You guys know I love and appreciate you guys all so much. Take care and until next time, dream big, my friend. Thank you so much for listening. If you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you really loved it, you can show your support by leaving a review on iTunes. For more inspiration, head over to dreambigmyfriend.com where you will find even more content for all the dreamers out there. Until next time, dream big, my friends.